Giza, Egypt. In 1977, and then again in 1987, electronics engineer and inventor Joe Parr conducted experiments on the top of the Great Pyramid. Using equipment of his own design, Parr measured the pyramid's electrical, magnetic, and radioactive properties. Joe Parr, who was my very close friend and research colleague, discovered what I believe is the most incredible discovery about the Great Pyramid and pyramids in general. Joe believed that the pyramids had an energy field around them. All pyramids had it. The problem is the pyramid energy field was usually not strong enough. So he developed in his laboratory a method for generating this pyramid energy so then he could actually do scientific studies on it. Over the last few decades, people have been experimenting with pyramids. What has come to the forefront of this is the fact that pyramids are an enigma. They really have powers which are very hard to explain. And so people like Joe Parr have been looking into this. When somebody goes to the top of the Great Pyramid and experiences this weird electromagnetic vibration, this is not just a coincidence, but this has to do with the fact that the Great Pyramid is causing this. Joe Parr found out that if he put a model pyramid and spun it in a centrifuge through an alternating magnetic current, an energy field, or he calls it an orb or bubble, would form around the model pyramid. Joe found that this bubble or energy orb would block all known types of electromagnetic radiation, even gamma rays. Now this was interesting. We don't know of any types of energy forces that could do this. This is the most incredible thing about Joe Parr's discovery. In later laboratory experiments, Parr claimed to have discovered yet another strange physical phenomenon. The model pyramid became weightless in the energy field and began to move in a specific direction. They calculated the direction of this energy field where the pyramid would shoot out from. And guess what? It aligns exactly where we would see the constellation Orion. So Joe speculated that it went into hyperspace. This is speculation, but it makes a lot of sense. In string theory and physics, it postulates the existence of six additional spatial dimensions. So how do we know the way this energy fields were set up? It allows this pyramid to go into another dimension and travel. Joe never proved this, but before he died, he believed that the pyramid act as a time machine, if you could unlock its key. I believe that that is a gateway or a portal into multiple dimensions that would uh, enable or transmission of people, objects, or consciousness from uh, other dimensions into our dimension. Oh.